Okay, chat. We've got a new game today. We got a new game today. Chat has recommended me to play a game um, called the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. I've never played this before. I know nothing about it. I have not a clue. The, it was recommended many, many times, and the trailer looked okay. So we're gonna give this a shot. Please enter the current time. Wait, it's, it's a computer. How the f does it not know the current time? Thirty-three. All right, let's go. I know nothing about this game, so we'll see. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Didn't even get days off. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. It is updated? Okay, Never cool. in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Um. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's go find the meeting room. Did everyone when get laid Stanley off? came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You're not going to tell me what the f*** to do. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That looks like a gun range. That looks like it. You know what? I don't like that room. I'm gonna listen this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. You little right shit. Right, left. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh-oh. I feel like I made him mad. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Wait, are you kidding me? I have to start over? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Nah, room. no Perhaps way. He simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? 
Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Yeah, I'm stubborn as fuck. I'll go through the same way. Yeah, that seems right. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? What? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. Uh -oh. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. I feel like I pissed him off. Oh, I pissed him off. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize Thanks. this place at all. I just, what do you know what? Two gifts. Since I've completely sure. forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those No, no, I'll take the f***ing win. I want to know. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective what? experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective Yo, shut the fuck up, bruh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. DMCA? I uh, just, just fucking ban me. Just... Let's just end it. Just end it, dude. Send me on a three-day vacation. I can't even hear myself think. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later I'm in the story. Fire. Make sure you study Epic it closely music. and I'll remember it. it carefully. Smiling face you won't want hearts. to miss anything. I'm on fire. He's trolling me. Nah, this dude is 110% trolling. Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Sure. Ooh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. The door on the right is the correct one. 
Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's oh. this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? What? That's really how all this goes? I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. Wait, I so did I already... Do it. I won't did I win? Do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite no. sure if we're in the destination, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's no, where we No, I like to get right to a destination. Now. We'll find out. We're going to get to the next one. Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do... Did I die? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mama ain't raiding no fucking bitch. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mama ain't raised no bitch. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story is... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for... Easy clap. I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Who the f chooses the red pill? Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? And in the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Yes. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Oh, well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Why don't I ask some friends for help? 
error friends list is empty? A dead rat is objectively ranked higher than I am? That's... You know what? F*** your leaderboard. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or yes. purely to spite me? I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! That's this Firewatch? What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort That's of twisted, mean. erotic purpose. Hmm. So, am I going to get eaten when I come no, down no, here? No, 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 it can't be. The bears are coming. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, I'm quickly, block fire. it off. Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that... that... thing. Let's find another game. No. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. No. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. What the we fuck? We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Oh, yes. God, I'm going to... I think surely we I'm might. losing it. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, I can run now. Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Smiling cabinets. That smells like death. This room also kind of smells like death. Yep. I'm <laughs> looking for a rush too. It's down here somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. It's down here somewhere. <laughs> Hello? Jeff? Jeff, are you down here? I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Aaron! There's also gonna be more content and more parts of the event that we're gonna talk about. Later. Aaron! Oh, that, that's got to be Andy's office down there. Let's What's load up. Good chat? Nope. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. There's backseat and implies there's front seating. Trust in someone else can be Fair difficult. Enough. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. She was She's toxic as waiting. shit! Who? Who? Nah, 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 you tell me. Nah, 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 you tell me. Who? No. I know what's down that hallway. Nope. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story. Guess we'll see what's down here. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. No, she's calling me first. I'm tired no, of it. No, 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 you can't. 
Now that wasn't supposed to be a choice. Chose incorrectly? I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you wait a second? Did I just see this thing is a body no, burn appreciated? Possible. I can't believe it. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful, the and stream whether you're ever making a stream or not to stream, the stream Overwatch or not to stream Overwatch. World, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Now they installed gates. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Will not stop me. <laughs> Just really off the cookies. Wait. Fuck. Wait. Wait. You can crouch. Oh my god! I didn't know you could crouch. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can crouch. Jeff, is that you? This is just using the Overwatch community that I don't know what it is. Did I do it right? Did I did I finally find the way out? Wait, chat, I can't chat, I can't jump. Chat, I'm stuck. Michael Jordan? Is that you? I'm breaking the game in so many ways I didn't think were possible. Alright, well, I guess we have to restart. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee. See how the end of that goes. Just to admire it. This is it, Stanley. Your chance. Just want to see the, the, the end of this one. To put your finish your work aside. To let her back into your life. Oh no 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 no! You can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Okay, now we're gonna rewatch the same video again. Nice. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you? 
Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Couldn't I slip off this as well? <laughs> well, chat, see you on the other side. Oh no, I got back to the same spot again. God damn it, I don't want to watch that again. Okay, well, guess what? We're watching it again. <laughs> This way, please. All right. No third time's a charm. Thank you. I think you should jump off again. Surely something different will happen now this time. No, no, it's meaningful. fine. We can't have you. We learned a lesson, chat. And dying. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Um. Uh. Uh, I go this way. I have to go this way now. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My you did this. Game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. I mean, didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Main character. Oh. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Psych, bitch. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibly. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, fine. No! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. <laughs> Am I soft lock? Do I have to go left? First. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All, All right. right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I ain't rain no bitch third time's the charm. No! Is behave okay. exactly as I guess we have to go left. He entered the door on his left. Yeah, I just, I'm stubborn. I, <laughs> no, there's gotta be something down this hallway. Hurry back. How 
is there nothing in this hallway? Behave exactly as Stanley would. For What's the rule, chat? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the What's task. the rule? Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Everything right. in life comes in threes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right. he entered the door on his left. Threes and fives? Thank you. Just tell the narrator. No! My good. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right, we have to go All left. Right. We're going left this time. Okay, fine. When fine. Came fine. To a set of two I'm going to go left. Doors, Come on, open the door. I'm going to go left. On his left. Left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Everyone is unique. You most of all. What are your dreams for the future? Uh, pollution? <laughs> lunch! <laughs> you dream of lunch and pollution? Help. I'm a post-it. <laughs> Help, I'm a post-it. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing. Wait, what? I feel like that opened. Coming to a staircase. Why is it, that makes no sense? Stairs to his boss's office. Why is there not a? Oh hell no, dude! Oh hell no! Who's whose office is this? This is like a fucking eighteen hundreds brothel. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Open up, bitch! <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Open the f up. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I will fucking cut you. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you I wanted did. over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. I did! Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You Open the door, see what's the power out, bitch! Oh, oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Why does the game know that everything spectating is my thing? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. 
Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. And yeah, now you wish you fucking had me, bitch, huh? <laughs> 